Surprise, motherfucker! What's up? This is Avengers Satanus, and I am doing a book review today. Uh, this is what I got. Um, a friend Griff sent this to me, and uh, the other people in the um, Inappropriate Character Show. So this is, you can see it on the spine, The Lost Dungeons of Tannisborg. And, uh, oh, by Greg Svensson. Sorry about the focus. I don't know. Um, camera doesn't want to focus too well. Uh, there's a ribbon. Obviously, this is a very expensive, very fancy book. Um, you know, professionally printed. So you can see there, The Lost Dungeons of Tannisborg by Greg Svensson. And so I've skimmed through most of this book and so i'm just going to kind of do an overview um of some stuff i found because it's it's a great osr old school kind of i don't know overview tutorial um uncovering it's kind of like a archaeological find uh, because it brings to light a lot of things that came from the past. Uh, and sometimes in a new updated way. Sometimes in a refreshingly vintage way. So we got how to use this book. Welcome to history. Um, so yeah, it's telling about this, this dungeon that was created... Um, long time ago i think 1973 so obviously that's just before dungeons and dragons was professionally you know printed uh and dave arneson had um let's see it says here dave arneson was an excellent referee or dungeon master in modern terminology his descriptions of the places we were exploring gave me a clear mental picture of where we were and what was happening So, really, if you love early, early D&D, &D, um, and I believe this is also a Mega Dungeon. So, if you love Mega Dungeons, and if you love Dave Arneson, and, uh, you know, if you've ever heard of Thomas Borg, uh, cool. But if not, then you can kind of discover it now. And they also have cool reproductions of, like, the original maps drawn. And then there's a little key next to it. So you got you got a bunch of that. And it just goes and it talks about the dungeon. So it's not just like, here's a dungeon, go run it. Um, it talks about like how it came to be and what people's expectations were and what the reality was and how you can run it today. And different you know different methodologies um and of course the actual dungeon itself um and uh yeah a lot of cool artwork sprinkled here and there you know it's all black and white but that's okay it's just adds to its vintageness you got something on marching order all right let me read some of these headings um players need to know when to run that's very important dungeons are dangerous the retreat and counterattack. How big should a party be? Keep dropping hints to help your players learn. Interacting with the world, not the character sheet. So it's for those interested in, or those already who know about old school D&D and the OSR. Uh, a lot of this will be either a fresher or old hat. But for the people who are new to it, you know, they could learn a whole bunch about... Um, the early years of the hobby and let's see the poor the paranoia role um i think i know what that is uh sometimes you just roll and then the players are like what's he rolling about and then they're more like on edge or on their toes or you know they're at least paying more attention uh inconsequential events focus events when to use them uh, player lesson being sneaky, referee lesson being sneaky, um, 
despite it being an alien environment, some things do make sense. Fleshing out Tannis Borg's architecture and... So yeah, uh, if you want to actually use this dungeon, this is perfect. If you want to create your own, I would think this would be a great asset to have. It's also, as you can see, just a, a gorgeous book. And it's, yeah, it's just a neat, cool thing to have. I'm glad I have it now. And as I go back to the well of creating dungeons and mega dungeons and other adventures and things like that, uh, I'm going to be, you know, reading this and trying to absorb its knowledge um, to use on my own. Okay, part three, the dungeons. Um, so you got different pit types and things like that and different NPCs and, and monsters and creators. So this is, uh, you saw before the reproduction of how it originally looked. Uh, this is it drawn to a modern style. So this is level one. Um, you got level two. You know, I think there's seven levels. Um, and there's all kinds of tables sprinkled throughout and in the back there's like tools and containers and short medium long range weapons clothing uh, with price ranges and other notes taxes and upkeep um, coins and economy awarding experience points so yeah a whole lot of cool stuff in there um, this is level 10 oh I didn't know it went up that high uh, so yeah, this is <laughs> this is a pretty exhaustive uh, dungeon. There's level nine and eight. So yeah, you can see um, index, uh, a lot of cool stuff. A little something for everybody who's into old school D and D um, spells. Yeah, so that's that. And, you know, monsters and, and whatnot. So, a whole lot of cool stuff. Uh, here's the front of the book again. So, uh, I will put a link in the description below. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more information or obtaining this uh, gorgeous tome yourself. And, yeah. Uh, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I guess I'll catch you on the flip side. Maybe I'll make another video either tomorrow or the next day. Okay. That's it.